Praise the Lord. Pastor Sherwood Hamilton, the House of Prayer, the Church of the Living God, the Living Ground of the Truth, in Darlington, South Carolina, located on 1349 Rogers Road. Our email address is House of Prayer at gmail.com. We thank God for this day, for this is the Sabbath day in which we're coming to you with the word of the Lord. Here we are a body of believers who believe and have received the word of God. Found written in Mark 9, 7. There was a cloud that overshadowed them. A voice came down out of the cloud. The voice came down out of the cloud saying, hey, this is my beloved son. Hear him. This is my beloved son. Hear him. We believe in the words of Christ. And why we believe in the words of Christ is because Christ said in John 12 and 49, For I have not spoken of myself. I have not spoken of myself. But the Father which sent me. But the Father which sent me. He gave me a commandment. He gave me a commandment. What? What I should say. What I should say. And what I should speak. And what I should speak. And one of the things that the Father gave the Son of God to say is found in Matthew 4 and verse 4. When he answered and said, He answered and said, It is written. It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall not live by bread alone. By every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. But by every word Amen. that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Amen. Listen up. We're coming to you with the word that came from the mouth of God. Amen. Joining us with, with us, if you will, in Revelation chapter 3, starting at verse 14. We have come to a period in time in which if you look around closely, if you forget about, if you don't be distracted by the sizes of church buildings or church memberships, or the jumping and the shouting and the great music playing found in the churches, if you look closely, you will see that there is a attitude, that there is a mindset of the people in our day and time who call themselves Christians or better yet, saints of God. Amen. The word of the Lord is to a particular group of people. Amen. And to this particular group of people, they take heed to the word of the Lord. There are seven churches mentioned in the book of Revelation, and this final one speaks about the state of a body of believers. Revelation 3 and 14. And unto the church of the latter sin. To the church of the latter sin. Right. These things said to Amen. The amen. The faithful. The faithful. The true witness. True witness. Beginning of the creation the of God. Beginning and the creation of God. Talking about Christ. Go ahead. I know thy works. Listen. Listen. I know thy works. Christ. Speaks God's words. I know thy words. That thou art neither cold nor hot. You are neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. I will that you were cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm. Because thou art lukewarm. And neither cold nor hot. Listen. I will spew thee out of my mouth. God says, when you hear what Christ said, remember. He said, I speak only what the Father gave me. God said, I will spew you out of my mouth because you become lukewarm. Amen. I thank God for our Bishop Gregory Jackson, for our Pastor John Nelson, for Minister Mixon, for all the saints of God scattered abroad. I thank God for Minister Mixon hitting on this before. And then praise God there. He lets us know, amen, that you don't start off lukewarm. Just start off being hot. Amen. amen. Praise God. You're going from being have a zeal for doing the will of God through this mediocre period. Classified as being lukewarm. Yeah. This mindset, this type of attitude, God it is not acceptable in the eyesight of our Lord. God hastens to the point where he says, I spew you out of my mouth. But listen to verse 17. Because I have saved 
I am rich and increased for good. Because thou sayest I'm rich and increased for good. And have need of nothing. And have need of nothing. And know it not that thou art wretched and miserable. And know it not that thou art wretched and miserable. And poor. And poor. And blind. And blind. And naked. And naked. Because they're falling into the state. Something has happened. Even though you are rich, you have what the young people say you got it going on. Right. Even though you are increased with goods. Amen. Even though you have all these materialistic things. Go ahead. It is because of the statement, it is because of this attitude, it's because of this type of mentality. Amen. Praise God. God says you have become lukewarm. What mindset, preacher? What attitude? I never said these things. Jesus said, the Father says, you say. From the depths of your heart, by your actions, you utter these words. I have need of nothing. Amen. You're saying God has blessed me abundantly. I must be being used by God. God must be on my side. God must be approved of the way that I'm living. Oh, well, let's see. Go with me to Hosea chapter 12. Amen. Praise God in verse 8. Amen. You see, because you're increasing, because increase with goods, and because you have materialistic things, that don't mean God's still with you. Right. That don't mean God's still walking with you. Yeah. Hosea 12 and 8. And Ephraim said. Even said, Ephraim said. Yet I am become rich. They said what? Yet. I am become rich. I become rich. I have found me out substance. I found out great substance or substance. In all my labor, they shall find none iniquity in me. They shall find none iniquity in me. That were sin. That is sin or was sin. Uh -huh. All that I've got, you can't preach it enough. You can tell me that I'm doing wrong. You're right. I can't tell you nothing. Let's hope God can. Drop down to the verse 14. If Ephraim provoked him to anger. Provoked him to anger. Most bitterly. Most bitterly. Therefore shall he leave his blood upon him. He shall do what? Therefore shall he leave his blood upon him. He shall leave his blood upon him. And his reproach shall his Lord return unto him. Because he said, there is no sin in what I'm doing. Okay. Brothers and sisters, listen up. You and I have to take a very close look at ourselves and make sure we're not falling to the state of the lay of sin where we say, I have need of nothing. Amen. Remember, Christ said, I know that works. Hebrews 4 and 13. Amen. Praise God. Everybody can't see you all the time. But the lay of sins have forgotten. There is one that sits high and is looking low. There is one that is appointed with their coming out, going in, excuse me, as well as their going out. Hold up, excuse me. Hebrews 4 and 13. Neither is there any creature that does not manifest in, in his sight. Yeah. But all things. All things. Naked. Oh, what? Naked. All things are naked. And open. And open. To the eyes of him. To the eyes of him. Okay. So when Christ says that you or I are doing a certain thing, you got to understand that he is saying it because he sees it. Right. And nothing before him, it's everything before him is naked. Read it again, my brother. The leader there. Any creature. Not one creature. Does not manifest in his sight. There is not a creature on the earth. There is not a bishop God don't see. There is not a pastor God don't see. There is not a mother of the church God don't see. There is not a choir member, deacon, amen, praise God, trustee. Wherever you are in the body of Christ, God still got his eye on you. Amen. All things are naked and open unto the eyes of him. Mm. Yeah, that's right. We've got the answer to God. Right. We belong to Him. We were purchased with a price. Amen. 
I have need of them. Amen. Then our men have come to and speak of perverse things. And what are the things that they are speaking? First Timothy chapter 6, verse 5. Perverse. Disputed of men of Listen, corrupt mind. Of corrupt mind. And destitute of the truth. Destitute of the truth. Supposing that gain is godly. Supposedly that gain is godly. Is godliness. From such withdrawal thyself. Wait a minute. The status of your relationship, they're telling you, is based upon what you got. Your position with God depends upon where you're standing in the community. How big your bank account depends, amen, praise God, just determines where you are in the body of Christ. They are telling you a lie. Go ahead. They spoke perverse things. Disputing of men of correct, corrupt mind and destitute of the truth. Mm -hmm. Supposing that so, gain is God. Supposing that gain is God. From such withdrawal thyself. From such, listen. For if sin. you have any intentions of not being classified as a lay of sin, if you are the herd or the fallen or friend of any man, uh -huh. any teacher that tells you that your status in God is based upon wild, much materialistic things you have, you need to get away from them. Amen. 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 I don't care if it's your daddy. I don't care if it's your brother. Oh, your granddaddy. The Bible says, do what? Withdraw. Withdraw. Get away. Run for your life. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Drop down the verse. The next verse, verse 6. But godliness. But godliness. With contentment. With contentment. Is great gain. Is great gain. For we brought nothing to this world. All that took you hell. For we brought nothing into this world. You can't take it with. And it is certain we can carry nothing out. All right, so listen. God do not want you or I to become lukewarm. He wants us to stay on fire. He Amen. wants us to continue to strive. Amen. Praise God to live totally, to stay submitted, and to be committed to His will and to His ways. Amen. 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 Praise God. James chapter 5. Amen. Let us see us. Listen to me. Listen to what God is saying. No riches. I ain't going to do you no good. Amen. Amen. Praise God. There's something coming up on the face of the earth. Go to Luke 21. Hold your finger there. On James 5. Go to Luke 21, verse 25. Amen. Let us see. Listen to me very closely. Listen to me, you that say you have need of nothing. Listen to me, you that say, look, I'm all right. I got it going on. God has opened up his windows and he has pulled me out of places that I don't have room to receive. You that think that God is just right. The Bible said, take heed, let you fall.
find yourself suffering greatly because of that which is coming up on the face of the earth. Amen. And Pastor Sherwin Hamilton, repent, turn back to God.